హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ జక్కుల శ్రీకాంత్ కన్సల్టెంట్ సర్జికల్ ఆంకాలజిస్ట్ ఎట్ ఆంకో క్యాన్సర్ సెంటర్స్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బి టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ అపెండీషియల్ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఈజ్ అపెండీషియల్ క్యాన్సర్స్ అండ్ హౌ డస్ ఇట్ అక్కర్స్ అపెండీషియల్ క్యాన్సర్స్ ఈజ్ అ టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్యాన్సర్ దట్ గ్రోస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెల్స్ దట్ మేకప్ అపెండిక్స్ అపెండిక్స్ ఈజ్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటెస్టైన్ ద ఎగ్జాక్ట్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ అపెండిక్స్ ఈజ్ నాట్ నోన్ బట్ సమ్ లిటరేచర్ సేస్ అపెండిక్స్ ప్లే ఎ మైనర్ రోల్ ఇన్ ఇమ్యూన్ ఫంక్షన్ Appendicial cancers are rare cancers, affects 1 to 2 people out of 1 million per year. It's commonly occur in the age group of 50 to 55 years with slight female predominance. Second, what are the early signs and symptoms of appendicial cancers? Sometimes people with appendicial cancers doesn't have any symptoms. Some people may develop symptoms which includes appendicitis, pain abdomen, pain in pelvic region, bloating, abdominal distension, fluid in the abdomen, loss of weight, loss of appetite, nausea, and mass per abdomen. Third, risk factors and causes of appendicial cancers. Certain risk factors associated with appendicial cancers, these include smoking. Tobacco smoking increases the risk of all types of cancers, including appendicial cancers. Medical history. Certain health issues like pernicious anemia, atrophic gastritis may increase the risk of appendicial cancers. Age. risk of appendicial cancers increase with age slightly more risk of developing appendicial cancers compared to male there is no proven familial and hereditary risk of developing appendicial cancers fourth are there any measures to reduce the risk of appendicial cancers there is no sure way to reduce the risk of developing appendicial cancers but there are things you can do that might reduce the risk of developing appendicial cancers these includes maintain healthy weight fresh vegetables fresh fruits whole grain low red meat and processed meat limit alcohol intake and quit smoking fifth what are types of appendicial cancers and how appendicial cancers diagnosed there are several benign and malignant tumors that can develop in appendix these includes carcinoid tumors these are the most common type of tumors that can develop in appendix mucinous cyst adenomas and appendicial adenocarcinomas these includes mucinous adenocarcinomas colonic type of adenocarcinomas signet ring type adenocarcinomas to diagnose appendicial cancers usg abdomen and cect abdomen is very useful modalities along with imaging tissue biopsies like colonoscopic biopsy and diagnostic laparoscopy also useful to diagnose appendicial cancers sixth what are the treatment approaches for appendicial cancers there are several approaches to treat appendicial cancers these include surgery and chemotherapy Surgical treatments include simple appendicectomy may be enough for low grade appendicial neoplasms and early stage of appendicial cancers but in case of high grade appendicial cancers and advanced appendicial cancers right hemicolectomy may be required along with right hemicolectomy sometimes site reduction is also required for early stage appendicial cancers and low grade appendicial tumors chemotherapy is not required but in case of high grade tumors and advanced appendicial cancers chemotherapy is used along with surgery recent advances in management of appendicial cancers these includes hypex which means hyperthermic intra abdominal chemotherapy in this technique we'll use heated chemotherapy drug inside the abdominal cavity to treat advanced appendicial cancers thank you for watching this video